Okay, here we're going to use our compound interest formula to find the, the starting or the principal amount invested. Suppose we know that the, okay, so we're going to find the principal amount invested if we know the amount in a semi-annually compounded account with a 4.25% interest rate is $6,000 after 90 months. So you, you've accumulated a total of $6,000 after 90 months compounded semi-annually at 4.25%. Well, again, we can just fill in our formula. The accumulated amount is going to be 6000 The principal is what we don't know. That's what we're going to figure out. 1 plus our rate. So our rate is going to be 0 0 0.0425. We're going to divide that by the number of compoundings per year, which is 2. And then we'll do 2 multiplied by the number of years. Well, 90 months, if we take 90 and divide that by 12, let's see, that's going to give us, so 12 will go into 97 times. That'll leave us with 6 months out of 12 left over, or 7.5. That'll be the number of years. So now I'm going to simplify the right side down a little bit. We've got 6,000 equals the principal. If we do, if we do 0 0.0425 divided by 2, if we add that to 1, we'll get 1.02125. Well, 2 times 7.5 is going to be 15. So again, I'm going to simplify. We've got we've got 1.02125. I'm going to raise that to the 15th power. Again, I'm just using a calculator here off to the side. I'm getting 1.370822 after rounding. So to solve for P, the principal or starting amount, I'm just going to divide both sides by 1.370822. 1 1.370822. And on the left side, let's see, so 6,000 divided by 1.370822. I'm getting that to be... 4,376 and 94 cents after rounding. So it says the starting amount was close to but not quite equal to $4,400.